Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video, guys. We're gonna be talking about Yanfei or Yanfei, rather, and if you should be pulling on her banner or not. Well, we said her banner, but it's actually Zhang Li's banner. Pulling on her banner would not be a bad idea, just for the chance of you to get a Zhang Li. However, you kind of, you know, want Yanfei. So, what do you do now? Should you pull on the banner? Should you save your Prima gems? What should you be doing? Well, first and foremost, I can't tell you what you want to do. I'm not your dad, so <laughs> pull on what you want to pull on. However, Yanfei is an interesting character. And by that, I mean she focuses a lot on her charged attack. So let me just explain this real quick. Her normal attacks, she has a 3-hit damage attack just like Klee does. It does decent damage, but I'm not sure how strong it is. But... Now it's going to come down to the Yanfei charged attack. So why this is so interesting or unique is because Yanfei has a passive. It, so what it does is whenever you use your E or whenever you finish your 3 hit damage attack, you gain a Scarlet Seal. This seal has a duration of 10 seconds and lasts for 10 seconds until it just disappears. What this seal does, it's gonna make your charge attack do more damage. It's that that's her that's her set. Her set is using the charge attack along with those seals. So now if we just discuss about the ultimate here, her ultimate does just AoE damage. She doesn't do a lot of damage, but she instantly gets all of her scarlet seals back. That means she has three scarlet seals as soon as you get her ultimate done with. Now after you deal your ultimate damage, you're going to have to do a charge attack afterwards. And this charge attack is going to do way more damage since you have the Scarlet Seals. Without the Scarlet Seals, you're not going to do as much damage at all. Now, how much damage this impacts is, well, it varies. So for the level 1, you start off with 98% with no Scarlet Seal, and then goes up to 115%, and then 132, 150 after that. 167% for level 1 charge attack with full Scarlet Seals. I'm not sure how good this would be, but you dealing 300% damage after you getting Scarlet Seals, after just using your E or your Q and then just Scarlet Seal right after, and then E and then Q and the Scarlet Seal right after, that'd be pretty good. You can do like 300% damage. It's kind of interesting to me how her kit works around her charged attack rather than her ult, rather than her E damage. If you were to pull on her banner, I'd recommend pulling on her banner because you want her and Zhongli, or her and Diana if she's on that banner, or her and the other 4-star character that's on that banner. You're not guaranteed Yanfei, but you're guaranteed a Zhongli. Well, after the 50-50, you're guaranteed Zhongli. But you're not guaranteed Yanfei at all. So if you want to pull just for Yanfei, it's not the best idea, but it, it, you do get a lot of chances until, you know, you call it quits, right? You, you do get like 9 chances until you get Zhongli, that's if you miss all of the pity chances. An interesting character, her kits look interesting, she looks fun to use actually, her Scarlet Seal, but she looks very intricate, you have to learn all her stuff, and I don't know, the only thing... I kind of like which she's like the four star Klee. She literally has her passive. It's called it's the passive in which you can see nearby resources unique to Liyue instead of unique to Monsta for Klee. That's that's big. I love that. That's really good. Um, I I use Klee all the time just for going around and stuff. All right, so let's talk about one more passive of hers that kind of makes or breaks Yanfei. Now. When we talk about her passive, this is the level 70 passive that you get. So let's talk about it. Blazing Eye. When Yenfei's charged attack deals a crit to opponents, she will deal an additional instance of AoE pyro damage equal to 80% of her attack. This counts as charged attack. That's where it gets good. If you build her on crit... It's, it just does so much damage, right? So 80% of her attack as charged attack. So if your charged attack does, I don't know, 167%, just 80% of that. So after constellations, 
she's gonna get really good. This is where I would recommend if you were to summon for her multiple times and get her multiple times. I would say this is really good because the first constellation, when Enfei used charge attack, each existing Scarlet Seal additionally reduces the stamina cost of the charge attack by 10% and increases resistance against interruption. It's not going to do more damage necessarily, but it will help you continuously do charge attack. So your DPS would increase. Now her second thing is increases the Enfei charge attack crit rate by 20% against enemies below 50% HP. That's pretty good. But of course it's situational. Fourth one is called the Supreme Amnesty. So what this does is it creates a shield. Yes, yes, I have said this. It creates a shield that absorbs 45% of Yanfei's max HP. This shield absorbs pyro damage 250% more effectively. I cannot tell you how good this is until I see it. Because she creates a shield. I say the shield is the normal shield you get after using like a Geo character. But what it does, it's 45% of Yanfei's max HP. So should you build her for HP if you have this constellation? I wonder. And then the C6, you get another Scarlet Seal. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you got something out of this, please leave a like. My final say, should you summon for her? Yes, only if you also want Zhongli and the other four-star units. I'm not going to say you should or you shouldn't. You can do whatever you want. I'm not your parents. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.